So you're looking to grow your email list and you've been told to create some kind of PDF lead magnet to get people to sign up. There's a few ways you can do it. You can actually just create a Word document or an open office document using the openoffice.org system and you can save a PDF. But if you're looking for something that's gonna be visual, something you can take control or even find a great template to start with, then you're gonna to wanna to check out Canva. So in today's video, what we're gonna do is gonna jump on a Canva and show you how you can create a PDF lead magnet, whether it be a checklist or an ebook, for your website to grow your email list. So let's jump on Canva and get started. Okay, so you're gonna to wanna to go to canva.com, sign up, whether it be with your email address or Facebook, and you're gonna end up with a screen like this when you first log in. What we're gonna do up the top right here, there's a button here to create a design. So we're gonna click on that and we're gonna type in book. And you see you have a few options here, storybook, booklet cover, thriller book cover, that sort of thing. Now, we're gonna start creating a booklet. So I'm gonna actually go here to booklet. And this is how you can very quickly put together an ebook for uh, your lead magnet. Now, you can simply go ahead and start creating here if you want to. You can add text such as headings and, uh, you know, style it up with your use of fonts over here and uh, get it looking the way you want to. And uh, so you can take, it, take that approach. Start here, get your text, pop it on there. You can start adding photos, uh, that sort of thing on there, and other elements to start designing your book and get it looking the way you want. That's pretty ugly. But <laughs> we're going to go through the process of building an entire ebook from scratch because it just take too long to do. So we're going to go over here at the top left to templates. And what we're going to do, you can see here, you've got templates. You can scroll down. You can search um, and find something, but let's say we're going to create a. We've got this could be a PDF book, or this here. We're going to click on this and we're going to use this. And you can see it actually has a preview and several page designs you can use. So I'm going to click on this template. It shows you the full, yeah, you know, the full layout. I'm going to apply all pages, and then you can see you have page one, page two, page three, page four, and so on. Now we can actually go in and customize these things. So where it says Taton Group, I can now say, yeah, how to improve your striking or something like that. And I can go in here, if it's too big, I can make the size smaller. And the reason I've put striking is I actually uploaded some boxing images before. You can pop a little logo up there or maybe you have your website name like my web, whatever that is. You can say free e-guide, something like that. And if we want to change out this image, we can go over here to photos. You can even search for a boxing image. And you'll get a few here. One thing we can do, say we want to find uh, something here, maybe something like this, the person with the gloves. We can drag that over into the image area and pop it in there. But uh, one thing you may notice too, is if I get, grab this one, this pro image, we'll grab this one here, it's a free image, pop that one in there, is it was in black and white, but this one's in color. So you can simply go to edit image here and you can do things like take the saturation out. Uh, you can change the contrast, the brightness and make some adjustments till you're happy with it. But this is gonna be our book. And maybe the green I don't like, so I click on the background green color here and I change that to uh, maybe a gray. So now I have how to improve your striking. I have a book cover for my ebook. Table of contents. We can leave this and come back to it, but maybe we still want to get a nice little image in here. So we're going to just pop that one in there and you can have a little how to get started. And you can go through and change this text. Now, obviously, you don't want to see me type up an entire ebook here, but I am going to just zoom in. I'm using this little slider down the bottom here and show you how easy it is. You can say striking is an art that is difficult to master. Unboxing to Muay Thai, etc. etc. And you can actually set up a little intro. Uh, you know, maybe we'll just copy and paste that. Not what you want to put in your ebook, but you can go through, click and edit any of this information that you want. And you can also go through, change the, the headline. So this one says company performance. We can call this one footwork and movement or something. 
and you can go through and quite easily you can remove this graph and you can easily make it look the way you want to. Now, say I want to add in another picture. Maybe we got another non-pro picture. Pop this one in here. We can simply drag that in and place it. We can crop with these handles here and have our image added at the bottom. So it's not that difficult to add elements in. And you can go through and simply change the headings, do what you need to do. You can even move things around by deleting certain bits of text. Move this one out if you want to just have one bit of text. Once again, you can delete images or simply drag across and drop again. And of course, you've got uploads being uploaded from your computer. So you can also pop in things like this. So you've got a few options there and it's a very easy thing to go through and work out. But the next thing that you might be thinking is what if I don't want some of these pages and what if I want more of other kinds of pages? Because this is a set format, maybe all the information you want to convey isn't in here. So what you can do is where we have meet the team, we can hover over the little bin icon above it and delete that page. And then we have only the pages we want. However, what we may want to do is repeat this page. So maybe this page isn't big enough to fit all the information in before we go to this other page, which is sort of coded differently. And one thing I will add just quickly is if you've got footwork and movement here, you do want to go in and change your table of contents in here to match. So where it says mission, you might say, you know, footwork and movement, that sort of thing. So it's not too hard and pretty easy. You can, if you've got something over two lines, just add the space and you can set it up and do things as you want. But as I was saying before, if we want to add another page to flow on from here, because maybe we don't have enough space, is we can simply hover over the top of this page and click duplicate page. And then we have another page. We can go through, we can move this, we can uh, take this, maybe we rotate it around and lengthen it. Maybe we pop it so at the top here, remove the image, hit delete, delete. So I'm clicking on this and hitting delete. And all I'm doing is simply moving things around, deleting that line, moving this up. And I can go through, increase some of these areas. By grabbing the handles, I can increase the size of the text as well. But if I simply grab these flat handles on the side, it just changes the container size. So if I add more text at the bottom here, it'll keep going. So you can actually go through and format these pretty easily just by clicking and moving. It's a very easy thing. Once you play with it for five minutes, you'll figure it out in no time. But another thing we're gonna look at is we're gonna zoom out a bit more again. So let's say we have this section here, we're happy with it. But we actually really wanted this last page here with the, this broken up area. Maybe we wanted that as an introduction. We can move this around by clicking these up and down arrows. So we click up, 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 and it will move it up and down. So now we have our cover, our table of contents, and the page we just moved, and then we continue on as before. Now, there's a lot more, it's just simply a matter of taking time, having a play, and you'll see that you can figure it out pretty quickly. And uh, we are gonna get onto the checklist in a minute, but when we're happy with this and we want to use it as a PDF, when we're ready, it's already been saved, because Canvas saves as you go. We go up the top here to download, and we click download. Now here it says PNG, and we don't want a PNG because that's just an image. We want to change this PNG file type to PDF standard or print. If you're looking to print this, go to PDF print for higher quality, or PDF standard will keep the file smaller and easier to download. So we select the pages, we go all pages, or you can tick pages on and off if you don't want to include all of them. You can save the settings, I'm not really too concerned about that, but it's there. And we click download. And what it'll do is it'll actually export the PDF on the bottom right hand corner of the screen down here. And it'll ask me to save it. And now to save my PDF book, I'm gonna go show and folder. And you can see here, I now have a PDF I can upload to use as a lead magnet. So that is a very, that's a very quick and easy way to create an ebook for your website. It doesn't require a lot of work. Or you can simply build it yourself if you want to. Uh, like I said, if you do have that blank canvas, uh, which we had before, you can add pages and add blank pages in. You have the page background by clicking on the background. You can choose other colors. It's very easy to get started and 
do with what you want. Now I am working on a video on, on getting started with Canva. So if let me know if you want that video because I will pop a link to it when it's done. But if I find there's enough demand, I'll kind of push it forward on the list to make sure I get it up sooner for you guys to use. But that's essentially how you can create an ebook from there. So I'm gonna go back home. And you'll also notice if I go down to recent designs here, my ebook is sitting here. It's still generating a preview, but you can see what it looks like and we can go in and edit it at any time. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to create design again and I can type in checklist and it has a checklist there, A4 size. So this is if you wanna have some kind of PDF checklist. And once again, you can see we've got a series of templates. So we say we've got this one here for life goals. Maybe we want to do another boxing themed one. So we can say boxing mastery or something like that. Make it bigger. And then we just grab the corner handles to shrink it. And we click our image again, go to photos. We still got boxes on here. So let's just drag that across. You still get the idea. Now, this is a bit dark and hard to see. So I'm going to go to edit image and pump that brightness up. I can play with the contrast a bit just to get a bit more of a, an effect. But I can go through and you can see here, now this one has chosen to go for little brackets instead of squares. But I can go through and just say, you know, maybe we're doing a, a workout. So I can have here, warm up, shadow boxing, bag work, etc. Now, at any stage, if you're not happy with it, we can go back to templates, choose another template. Something like this. And we want to replace the current page or add as a new page. So you can always add templates on top of templates, but we're gonna replace. And you can go through and just find the one you like, have a play, you can change the fonts. This one here, I really hate that font. So maybe I'll choose something like Barlow to get something a bit more blockier. So you sort of get the idea, and as before, we can go to, uh, where it says print letterheads, you can actually <laughs> print by the looks of it. Uh, well, we can click this downward arrow to download, PDF or PDF standard, and that's pretty much it. Now, once again, if you wanted to create something from a, a blank, it's a simple case, you can find an image in the background, but you can even just go into elements and just pick like a square, search for square under elements, and you can move this square over and then you can duplicate that square. So you can actually go up here to duplicate. And this is the same if you want to edit a template, you want to start duplicating squares. We can click both of them, go to copy again to duplicate, top right corner, and we can add our own series of checks in there to get, get things looking the way we want. And you can simply go through and add that yourself. So it's not too hard, it's pretty straightforward. We've got text here subheading so we go item one item two line three etc etc and i can move this up here i can even go to my line spacing over here which is like three lines and an arrow and i can increase that I highlight all the text click that line spacing and i move this line spacing arrow across and i'll distribute that down maybe i increase the size a little bit and you can set things up like that. And of course, it's centered so you can left align. You've got all your text options up here, bold, italics, you can change the color to red, and you get the idea. But that is essentially how you can very quickly and easily, uh, this is like the, the rushed version of how to do it, uh, how to create an ebook in Canva. Now, once again, let me know if you wanna learn more, cause I am gonna be releasing a series on how to use Canva, uh, an introduction to Canva, so that you can get started and really learn the ins and outs of it. Um, otherwise, uh, if you like the video, please consider giving it a like. If you wanna see more like this, subscribe, and of course, leave a comment, any questions, anything you'd like to see, especially in regards to Canva, let me know and I'll see if I can get onto it soon for you. All right, guys, have a great day and I hope to see you again soon.